and celebrate your dedication and perseverance. So let us give the big loud applaud. The means I want you to shout. I also want to take this moment to reflect on the journey that brought the university to this point. Dr. Sabrina have told us that they are still, you are still an adolescent, but the minister is recognizing this journey. I would like to congratulate the founder, Dr. and Mrs. Ian Clark, and the leadership and staff of Clark International University for their unwavering effort in the pursuit of quality education. Members, that's not enough for Dr. Ian Clark. <laughs> Their efforts have resulted in the establishment of a sustainable institution that fulfills a critical need and address a gap not only in Uganda, but also across Africa and the globe at large. The Chancellor told me that in this university we have over 80 nationalities. So we are here and beyond. And you saw the entertainment, the Indian rich culture. I saw her dancing to about three songs, and I really appreciated her. So this university is beyond Uganda. The schools in the healthcare are developed here are high on demand and can open doors to employment opportunities across the world. Dr. Ian Clark, together with his distinguished management team, has been the driving force behind the university's mission to inspire and equip the next generation of leaders. We remain indebted to you for the selfless service you have rendered to our country. I extend my gratitude to the younger scientists and innovators, particularly the alumni of Clark International University, for their continuous effort in developing innovative solutions to our societal issues. These contributions will serve as valuable starting points for the government as we design policies and context-specific solutions for our country. I commend Clark International University for instilling a stronger sense of service in the graduates. I urge the university to further enhance instructions on ethics, professionalism, trans transferable job skills, mentoring, and coaching. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about ethics and professionalism. Everybody that stood here talked about ethics and professionalism. We want to see that we have people who are ready for service. The nurses say that they have been chosen to love and serve. We want people who are empathetic, who know the purpose of their being in that job that you are holding. And when, the, when you know the purpose, you will keep time, you will be responsible, you will be kind, you will communicate very well, you will provide both the soft and hard skills to your clients, wherever they are. And this is the, what the minister is saying here, that we want to see that ethics, professionalism, skills that are transferable. Now here we're also looking at the 21st century skills, including lifelong learning skill. You have achieved your master's today, your postgraduate studies today, your bachelor's, but that's not the end. You must continuously learn and improve your skills. You must consult, you must refer, you must investigate. No wonder one of the core focus of this university is research. And therefore, we want to see you doing a lot of research that will help us to achieve 
and get the Uganda that we need. It is my hope that this spirit of service will lead many of you to serve in rural communities where your skills are most needed. Again, another core point. The population is there. One month back, I went to Windy. It was hard to reach Windy. But when I reached Windy, I enjoyed and it was nice to stay. So we want you to go to such communities and provide the services that the people who are there will be healthy, will be happy, will be educated, and they will contribute to our country's development. So that can only be done when you don't congest here in the urban, but you go to the rural settings and serve. Government is dedicated to fostering a sustainable knowledge economy through higher education and ensuring that universities adequately prepare students for the digital era. Therefore, I encourage you to embrace digitalization in health and business for, by fostering digital collaboration, learning, literacy, investing in self-development by familiarizing yourself with current digital systems and soft, softwares relevant to your field. Dr. Ian recently encouraged, I recently encouraged you now Dr. Professor Rosa, I know you will deliver this message. What I mean is I saying that he recently encouraged Dr. Ian to step out of his comfort zone, to step out of your comfort zone fearlessly, fearlessly. Create and pursue a community of quality people. Remember, only quality people will propel you to your desired future and goals. You can see that my work is giving testimony here, Honorable Minister, that you can see what I'm reading is not mine, but for Honorable Jesse Muyengo. You can see that my work is about meaningful contribution to Burundi Wansi. I think nobody doubts that. Now I challenge you, the graduates and the guests that are here, how you can contribute to and plan to contribute into Burundi Wansi. He further quoted that because of Burundi Wansi, he has developed institutions for secondary education and primary education that he are doing very well. But he has also dedicated his time out of the ministerial responsibility. He has a, a dedicated day in a week that he provides time for the people of Bamunanika and Uwer to come and interact with him, discuss and they plan for the future of the people of the world. So this message, Professor Rose is going to Dr. Ian to ensure that only quality people will propel you to your desired future and goal. I think they discussed and they know their sins, but for us here, we are appreciating this. As we celebrate today, it is important to acknowledge the role of higher education in the broader context of national development. Education is the cornerstone of progress, and institutions like Clark International University play a vital role in shaping the intellectual capital of our nation. You are not just individuals with degrees, you are, expe you are expected to be catalyst for transformation. Catalyst, catalyst that will enable us to achieve our vision 2040. And I know you all know that. Catalyst for Burundi Wansi, ready to contribute meaningful to the advancement of our society. Please remember 
you are not just recipients of knowledge. You are bearers of a torch that can eliminate the past towards a bet better future. In wa whatever you do, maintain the utmost standards of integrity and the value instilled in you during your time at this university. Integrity, compassion, and a commitment to the community. Execute all your assignment with enthusiasm, commitment to quality, and willingness to learn and touch others. You will immediately stand out from the rest and be rewarded. Opportunity favors the board. Again, our keynote speaker said that you have a driving permit. So you can decide what vehicle you want to drive. So this message is equally building on that. Have the right attitude to, to life and work. Be optimistic. Have positive energy. Collaborate. Complete tasks, whatever it takes. Be respectful of the people and be time conscious and make your word your commitment. Remember to read without a title. Your vice chancellor told you that whether you have a title or you don't have a title, as you read, make sure that you have to lead. As your leadership pledges state, that's what we have already noted. Learn continuously, not just your chosen profession, but the soft skills of the work, working with people, motivating people, inspiring people, and eventually leading people. Success comes from being a part of the greater team and eventually leading that team. Remember to be gracious and thankful, to share praise and acknowledge responsibilities for mistakes. Treat your colleagues with respect, treat your patients with even more respect. The healing process begins from the first encounter with the patient and continues to be lasting until you, you, you treat the patient. Listen to your patient, practice empathy. Do not assume you know it all. I've already told you about that. All the science you have learned is useless without the humanity and integrity to impart it to your patients. Be resilient. There will be tough days ahead of you. But the good days will make up for them. Remember to always keep a scorecard of your successes and failures. Seek, seek opportunities to uplift those around you and make a difference in the lives of them. Uh, before I conclude, I just wanted to make a testimony of leading, even if you don't have a position. And this testimony relates to Professor Laws. During COVID-19, around the end of March 2020, and between March and April 2020, everybody did not know what was going on. All of us were panicking. But because of people like Professor Laws, uh, among the nurses, we came up with the Think Tank initiative. And I want to say that the think tank did a lot to motivate the nurses that were at the front line, including simple contribution like what we are making now for the bus. But it had an impactful 
role as far as building the morale of the frontline health workers. So that is one way to go. We did not have an appointment as Minister of Health Commissioners, directors, and so on. But we just assumed the responsibility. And as we talk now, the work of the think tank is still on. And I want to encourage all of you that are willing to join the think tank and we serve our nation. In conclusion, my remarks, it is my prayer that this day will be a call to action. Again, this is the analogy of Rotarian, Dr. Sabrina. The Rotarian said that they are people of action, not talking, but action for the graduates to be the change makers of our world that we need. I once again applaud Clark International University and its visionary leadership for setting a standard of excellence that our graduates carry forward into the world. May you continue to embody the spirit of resilience, determination, and service that defines our nation. Thank you for listening, for God and my country, Uganda. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, uh, guest of honor. I forgot to recognize the children that entertained us this morning. Young ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, guest of honor, for another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Graduands, I know you are cautioned not to shout, but we are clarified on moments when you ought to. Thank you so, so much for the wonderful what. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we have the children who have been uh, glorified, in a way, for the wonderful entertainment, uh, we shall have the chancellor and uh, the vice chancellor come over here to give gifts to uh, the commencement speaker and uh, the guest of honor. And as they come, there is a wonderful message from the CIU Border Border Stage. Moyenga B Machindi Division. Congratulations. We are grateful to God for this day. On behalf of the stage members, I would like to congratulate Clark International University upon reaching 14th graduation ceremony. We thank the university administration upon the support towards our border border stage. We are grateful for the maximum cooperation. Long live Clark International University, signed off by Chairman Akim Nwamanya. A round of applause. These guys are so wonderful. They know without Clark, probably their families wouldn't be at the level they are. Uh, as we receive the gifts, I would uh, want to invite uh, Dr. Sabrina to come and receive her gift from both the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor. DJ, I know you know how to play good music when you're inviting people of such caliber. Thank you so much, Dr. Sabrina. You may kindly move forward. I'm sure the photographers are doing a good job of uh, taking such memorable pictures. I'm sure a few years down the road, these will be plucked in the Vice Chancellor's office. Thank you so, so much. Uh, since the people have to invite the guest of honor, the one going to give her the gift, may I have the honor to invite the guest of honor to come and receive the gift from the vice chancellor and the chancellor. Mr. DJ, I don't know what you have to play for Hajat, but uh, she shouldn't move in a lonely sort of fashion. Thank you so, so much. I think, uh, uh, thank you so much, Vice Chancellor and Chancellor, for the function well performed. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go through for the entertainment, I know if, uh, you know, you're gonna entertain us. Uh, my colleague over here, this time around, I've left her 
to read these things. She knows how to read nice things. There are only big sums this time around. When the small sums come, I'll be reading. So Julie, kindly take it up. Thank you, Bill. Finnish nurses and midwife students have offered 200,000 Uganda shillings. A round of applause for them. Joseph Kalema, 50,000 shillings. Date of collection from Joseph Kalema is now. So ushers, spot Joseph Kalema and pick the 50,000 shillings. Uh, Sam okay. Muhammad Sam Puli, 20,000. Johnson, Johnston Grace or team, 20,000. Uh, Amide, 10,000. Okwakol, Alfred, 10,000. Akello Gertrude, 30,000. Opio Adjoka Williams, 50,000. Samuel Kivumbia, 40,000. Emmanuel Ikol, 50,000. Kato, uh, maybe Kato Patrick, I hope, 20,000. Um, Kalamu Isaac, 50,000. That is Uganda shillings, not dollars. Okay, but you need to clap more. I don't hear the clapping. Thank you very much. Kevin Githuru, 20,000, plus some cash. Um, Solomon, 100,000. I think Walusimbi. Rotaract Club of Clark International University, 50,000. Akello John, uh, 15,000. Dr. Richard Ojede, 50,000 Uganda shillings. Uh, Syrak Asfau, 50,000. Chironde Sam, 10,000. Mayel, 5,000. Luke, 5,000. Hannah Charles, 10,000. Evans, 20,000. Moses and Nyondo. Kenya shillings, 200. On behalf of Sarah Awewa, graduate, Master of Public Health, Master of Science, sorry, in Public Health, 150,000. <laughs> Reverend Stephen, 20,000. Rose Edward Albert, 30,000. And John Kennedy, 20,000. Thank you very much. Thank you, as you can attest, when a lady reads, it sounds so nice. Uh, you know, those cash-related things. That's how uh, most people will be encouraged to pay. Uh, thank you so, so much, wonderful people, for the pledges. And I'm sure a number of them are still coming through. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have our children entertain. Uh, the, our children from Hope School. And uh, after that, the conferment of certificates, diplomas and degrees, will take place. Now, the rules are going to be as such. Now, when they read out your name, you move very fast and come to the front. Then the chancellor will confer you. Uh, you will have to face the chancellor. I don't know where the photographers are going to be, or you'll stand somewhere there. Then the dean, uh, these rules also uh, apply to the deans, will rush very fast to the uh, students who have lined up to take a quick picture. If you have any other our uh, program to read out. You come back over here, read it out, go back, so that we remain with some memories. I know it will be a roller coaster of sorts, but it's worth it. After one year, no one will know that actually there was uh, some bit of interlude. So just take that uh, for read. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's right about now when we enjoy these wonderful children who have been qualified by the guest of honor as some of the better entertainers of the day. Twabala Musa, Fenna, we twala baba geni. Twabala Musa, Bama Twabala Musa, Fenna, we twala baba geni. Twabala Musa, 
I saw the coordination that, oh my goodness. Ah, wonderful. Well done, well done. A round of applause. I think that was good entertainment. Uh, now, our better entertainment is coming through. Now, we're going to have the deans read out your names during the confirmation. But if you've not been read, please do not come. We only invited graduate ones, not masqueraders. So please take note of that. And uh, that's why you've qualified. You don't mind, if you don't mind, please give her a round of applause. You can afford to shout. Ah, uh, yeah, because it is your day today. So Madam Registrar, how you do it, it's your way. I'm not dictating anything. Uh, thank you, MC, uh, the Chancellor, our chief guest, our commencement speaker, of course, my vice chancellor and uh, SMT members. This is the time that we have been waiting for. The graduates, are we okay? Are we ready to graduate or we can postpone it to tomorrow? <laughs> Thank you very much. As the MC had said, we want to make this as interesting and nice and fast as possible. And uh, the deans will be calling out your names we will walk to the front when the chancellor confers. For the gentlemen, I know you don't have pins in your hair, kindly remove. For the ladies, I know it's a process, so we shall not remove our hats, but we shall come to the front. We are going to start with the School of uh, Business. I will invite the Dean. Dean John Waliraki, please come and do the needful. After, after, school of nurse, after the School of Business, we'll go to the School of Nursing and Midwifery, then the Institute of Public Health and Management, and finally the Institute of Allied Health Sciences. And as the Dean School of Business comes to read out the names, I would like also to just note that we have our candidates, two of our candidates who completed their national certificate from UBTEB. We will be recognizing them for that accomplishment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Registrar. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All protocol observed. You look to be exhausted, and yet we're just beginning. While Iraq John Boska, my names, as already introduced, and um, I'll be reading out the names of graduates from the School of Business and Applied Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, before I read out the names, permit me to share some good news from the school to the congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, the School of Business and Applied Technology has received 100 scholarships. 100 scholarships, cut say of the Clark Group. An applause for the Clark Group. These scholarships cover 50%, 50% of the fees chargeable for the programs in the school. Now, the programs that are beneficiaries of these scholarships include the Bachelor of Business Administration, the Bachelor of Accounting and Finance, the Bachelor of Tourism and Hospitality Management, the Bachelor of Applied Computing Technologies, the Bachelor of Procurement and Logistics, and the Master of Business Administration. The message to you, ladies and gentlemen, share this message with all your colleagues, with friends, uh, the students who are here, parents and guardians, so that you can benefit from these scholarships. They are being given on a first-come, first-served basis. And therefore, feel free to contact our marketing department to see how you can benefit from this, or the School of Business and Applied Technology. Thank you very much. 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you the following candidate who has successfully completed his studies for the award of the, of the Bachelor of Applied Computing Technology of Clark International University. The candidate is Kavuma Abraham. Uh, picture? Anybody taking us a shot? Okay. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Applied Computing Technologies of Clark International University to the person whose name has been read. Mr. Chancellor, sir. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed their studies for the confirmation of the Bachelor of uh, for the degree of Mass of Business Administration and Management of Clark International University. These are a Jack Peter, a Thai Justin Kulabako, Bekele Afomia Mekonen. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer the degree of Master of Business Administration and Management of Clark International University to those people whose names have been read. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I wish to recognize the best student in the class of the MBA for the year 2024 is Peter Ajak. With a CGPA of 4.42. On the same note, Mr. Chancellor, I wish to recognize the best student in research from the MBA class 2024. She's Afomia Mekonen. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir. I present to you Wimana Ridia, who has successfully completed her studies for the award of the National Certificate in the Business Administration of UBTEP at Clark International University. May the said candidate stand up for recognition. I uh, congratulate Mr. you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you Ms. Akot Juliana, 
who has successfully completed her studies for the award of a national certificate in ICT of UBTEB at Clark International University. <laughs> Congratulations to you all from the School of Business and Applied Technology. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dean John Walirachi. May I invite uh, Dean Agnes to present the candidates from the School of Nursing and Midwifery. And as we said, when they call your name, please come to the front and face the Chancellor so that he can confer the degrees. To the gentlemen, remove the cape. Congratulations, dear graduates. Uh, all protocol observed. I'm excited to see my mentor. You're most welcome, uh, Commissioner. Dr. Musene, you're most welcome. Nice to see you. Uh, I would like also to uh, recognize the presence of uh, Kano Baguma Grace for the nurses this is very important you need to know these people so she's the director of uh, nursing in the UPDF so in case you intend to enroll please she's the right person and not only that she supports CIU. She has worked with us. You realize that we have a number of nurses and midwives being recommended by the UPDF to come and study at CIU. So she's raising the CIU flag high. We are humbled. Nurses, are you ready? So can we, can you stand up, nurses only, can you stand up and we say the Nightingale Pledge together. Hope you have the paper with you. Okay. So we are going to say the Nightingale Pledge together and please make those words meaningful to your profession. We can start. I, you put your name. Solomon Lee, pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I'll do in my power to make and maintain the highest standard and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will work closely with the physician and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting and, 
I will consistently endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I will active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. So help me God. Can, can take your seats. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed their studies for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Nursing Sciences. They are Feven Tesfai Merhan, Please, when I mention your name, you come forward. <laughs> Katende Sol, Lydia Gebru, Behe, Mary Yebio, Asijde, Nahum Haley Hafeweki, Nakagwa Winfred, Ruta Tesfai, Temugazhai, Ruta Tesfai Afewek, and Sebuliba Jonathan. These are direct entrants. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, oh. I confer the degree of Bachelor of Nursing Science of Clark International University to those people whose name have been read. Chancellor, sir, I present to you the following candidates. The dean should go in the middle since the group is small. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed their studies for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Nursing Sciences. And these are bachelor's top-ups. Top-ups. Achom Grace, Adu Grace, Agwang Sharon, Ajok Jacinta Amai, Akong Lillian Jennifer, Amariat Susan, please step forward and be fast. We are saving life. <laughs> Anguparu Mary, Angut Mary Magdalene, Azibazio Med Medina Aganas, Bira Regina. Kanmong Francis, Chemtai Jovia, Ekambi Jane, Ekelot Isaac, Ijayo Hawa, Katende Wilson, Chivet Isaac, Chisache Eve Bukenya, Chaba, Chabanawandi Johnson, Chamanya Brian, Matov Naiga Margaret, Nabagereka Nora Lukwago, Naiga Juliet, Nakabazi Joyce, Nakanavi Bena, Nakasuja Anet, Chirimira, Chirumira, uh, Nakawesa Jalia, 
Nachiganda, Farida, Namatovu, Lamlat, Nambusi, Gladys Jackie, Nangonzi Ruth, Nanono Ruth, Naula Christine, Nuamanya, Joslyn, Nyacho, Josephine Foybe, Nyeko, Nancy Nicole, Okiring, John Michael, Olupot, Emmanuel, Serumpa, Serumpanes, Christopher, Sebi, Isa, Tino Tamali, Tino Lydia, Twinamasco Ernest, and Wadribo Joseph. I, I recommend that they be conferred upon the degree of Bachelor of Nursing Sciences of Clark International University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Nursing Science of Clark International University to those people whose names have been read. Remember that color you are putting on was chosen carefully, meaning you have to be someone enduring, you have to have persistence, you must be progressive in your career, and aim at prosperity. So go for it, nurses. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, uh, now we go to the midwives. Midwives. So before, before the Chancellor confers the degree to you, let's go through our midwifery pledge. Are we ready? So the midwives pledge, I put your name, solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of midwifery. I'll do in my power to make and maintain the highest standard and practice of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I pledge to uphold the value of the midwifery profession to the best of my ability. I will work closely with the obstetrician and devote myself to the welfare of the mothers, families, and the community. I will endeavor to fully I will consistently endeavor to increase my knowledge I will zealously seek to care for those who are well and sick wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I hereby pledge that within my capacity as a midwife, I will work diligently and with total commitment to entrust zero tolerance to maternal and newborn death. So help me God.
You can take your seats. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed their studies for the confirmment of the degree of Bachelor of Midwifery. And they are Abalo Joyce Odong, Adikini Eunice, Adiru Grace Diku, Agani Rose, Akelo Jacqueline Chibuki, Chibuki, Akurut Dorothy, Asimo Agnes, Auma Grace, Aya Helen Olal, Isakun Evelyn Ogole, Katusi Caroline Yeko, Mirembe Catherine Oliver, Nabide Helen, Nabude Doroth, Namataka Juliet, Ndiwa Chebro Angela, Otala Evelyn, Oyela Margaret Onegi, and Wanyenze Helen. I recommend that they be conferred upon the degree of Bachelor of Science in Midwifery of Clark International University. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer the degree of Bachelor of Science in Midwifery of Clark International University to those people whose names have been read. <laughs> 